Okay. This tastes like Did anybody try this? Be honest. Did anybody try this? So why the are you putting it in front of me if you didn't try it? All right, guys, everybody knows why we're here. We're gonna be doing these food testings, menu taste, tastings, and uh, R&D every single week. The purpose of this is not to come together and like give each other high fives and pats on the back and tell each other like how good of a job uh, we've done with the, with the menu, right? That's what we're supposed to do. That's like what's expected. And obviously we know the standard that we're expected to, uh, to maintain and continue to add to, okay? The purpose of this is to find things that we can do better and improve for our clients because at the end of the day, if the food tastes like shit, if it looks like shit, if it's not portioned appropriately, our clients are not going to be able to do what they've come to us to uh, help them do, and that's accomplish their goals. All right, so everybody has a copy of the process, the standard operating procedure. This will be fluid every single week, and uh, this is not the place to uh, get your feelings hurt. I'm going to be very direct. I'm going to give you criticism, and I expect you to take that on board and make things better. Because at the end of the day, no matter how good things are, no matter how good you perceive them to be, I promise you, there's a lot, uh, a lot of things that we can work on to improve. And that's what we do. We're constantly looking for ways to get better and improve because we owe that to our customers. I mean, at the end of the day, that's why we come to work every day and do what we do. We all clear on that? All right, all right let's get rocking. What's first? This is our hearty beef meatballs with cheddar pierogies and asparagus. Let me see the label. What's up with some of the print on this? Some of these, like you can't, you can't read it. Looks like the printer might need a little cleaning over. Yeah, so why don't we clean it or replace the cartridge? So, you know, our clients, they don't get the meal served like this by, you know, somebody good looking, in shape, tattooed like yourself, right? This is the first thing that they're gonna see. They're gonna see a label with smeared print on it that doesn't necessarily tell the story of how we do business here. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't represent the standard. So anytime any of you guys see this, please, please, please say something to somebody because it is not okay, it is not acceptable, and I don't ever want to see this again. Guys, I don't want, I don't want to see anybody writing anything down, and it makes me very nervous. Okay, okay. just okay. notate the feedback and let's do better. Okay. Okay? okay. Um, meatballs, you know, taste good. They're definitely uh, good texture, right? That's where we want to be. Um, veggies, I mean, just looking at them, like there's just, I get to, there's some sort of seasoning on here, right? What, what's on this? There is a seasoning. There is not? There is. Yeah, there is. What is it? It's a sodium free seasoning, so it's like an all purpose. It's just, it's just inconsistent, right? The color is on point, like it's green, that's good. Obviously the greener the veggies, the better off. But you kind of you kind of got to move it around a bit to see like the seasoning. One of the things that we talked about being important due to the fact that <laughs> unfortunately most people despise veggies, um, especially the ones that are really good for you, like asparagus, is seasoning them well so they not only taste good, but look good. If they don't look good, they're not gonna taste good. I promise you that. We know that, right? Yes, sir. So can we do just like a better job of just evenly distributing like the the seasoning and such just so it looks like a more like aesthetic uh, veggie? Not just with this, with all of them? We can. Good, so. All right, what's next? So next we have a Chicken rice bowl. It's an all white meat diced chicken marinated in orange nova. Good job with the chicken. Really good. The uh, the beans. They look good. The texture uh, is great, but that uh, too much. Too much, too much sauce. Isn't that a saying? Are all the kids saying that now? Too much, <laughs> literally uh, too much sauce. Yeah, so yeah. just lower it on. Yep. It's a beef burger. Thank you. Good. What's different about this? Very tasty. Garlic? Garlic. Dude, garlic, that's... Uh, roasted garlic. Garlic right was the right first onion. known performance enhancing back in uh, ancient Rome. 
and uh, the health and medicinal benefits for it are absolutely limitless. So I like the fact that we use that, uh, you know, routinely in our dishes. Mm -hmm. What do we got here? Peach mango protein bar. It's a brand whole wheat. Steven How much protein in this thing? Where's the, uh, the lid? 19 grams. 19 G's. Okay. Um, so aesthetically, it's not all that. This looks like a plate of cornbread. Um, guys, that's important. You know, like the ones that we did this last week were like blooded, overwhelming, like blueberries look great. There is uh, consistent blueberries in all of them. You know, I took the time to look at uh, several different ones. Um, I see that we did put something in there. We have to do, I mean, obviously it kind of blends in, similar color, but we have to do something if that's putting some uh, compote on top or something on yeah, top. Sugar-free caramel. Sugar-free caramel, even better. I think maybe like, uh, yeah, Some, it top, something, it just can't it look like this. You can top it off with some yeah. of those. It can't look like a loaf of bread. You know what I mean? Like again, like there's a lot of psychology that's involved with this. A lot of people will taste this and hey, listen up. A lot of people will taste this and question like, oh, can I eat that? Is that like good for me? And it's like, well, you know, obviously we know what we're doing. We've been doing this a long time. We have a lot of people that have, uh, you know, the proof is in the pudding. But again, we have to make sure just aesthetically everything is convincing, everything uh, looks the way it needs to look and you know people need to uh, go into uh, something like this, especially if they've never done anything like this before, comfortable with everything they're doing and everything they're putting in their body. And it's our responsibility to play our part to help them with that process. All right? This tastes like Did anybody try this? Be honest. Did anybody try this? So why the are you putting it in front of me if you didn't try it? I want everybody to come over here and taste this. It doesn't have, it's, it's flavorless. Guys. It, it doesn't, guys, it doesn't taste like a piece of dog yeah. We know that. It doesn't taste like dog It doesn't taste like, I don't know, like something that, that somebody like threw up. I don't get peach or mango. But if it doesn't taste like anything, if it doesn't taste like anything, if the consistency is off, that means it tastes like Are we clear on what tasting like Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, dude, this is like what we're known for. Like we're like protein bar legends. This would be very, very disappointing if our clients, uh, you know, had to experience this. Thankfully, we do these and we can take corrective action. But please, please, please be tasting the stuff every single week. That's what I'm talking about, guys. See how good that looks? Looks great. It's that dusted with a graham cracker crumb crust on the top. 18 of grams of protein in this bad boy. Oof, nice and like when you pick it up, it's like moist to the touch. It's good. She's made big improvements on the donuts. Yeah. And look at that. People might people might worry about that. But that's uh, coconut oil, baby. That's good for you. You need that to live. Mmm. You can taste the key lime in the frosting. That's good. I don't have any input on this as far as how <clears throat> it can be improved. Aesthetically, it looked great. Um, the texture is good, tastes good, so we can move on.